Today I'm going to be doing a little paint with me video. I have never filmed myself doing a painting so that's scary in itself and another thing that's scary is like I'm going to be painting with oils. Um, If you are into art and if you are into painting then you know oils is kind of like it takes years for people to master oils. It's a pretty scary medium just because you there's so many other mediums that you need to mix in and it's like takes a long time to even complete your painting. So I am going to attempt to make a monochrome portrait, which I really enjoy doing. I don't really paint that often in general anymore. I'm more into digital, digital art just because of school and because I'm a media student. But now I have time and painting is really therapeutic for me. So I thought we could paint together. So step one is to find a reference. References matter, they matter because if you think you can paint from your mind, guess again. Okay, you can't. So we're gonna try and find a reference today on our dearly beloved Pinterest. Okay, Pinterest is the savior of the art community. Okay, so this is my homepage. It is a good homepage. Okay, so here is my saved pins. We are going to go to the people board. I have a board for people. And I find like really interesting faces and just designs in general. I did this guy already. I painted him. I can show you. I think I attempted to. Ha! Huh. This is him. The resemblance is uncanny. I'm being sarcastic. See like this guy? Imagine. Oh my god. Whoever can paint really high detail, they need to do this guy. Because he looks amazing. And then I have a, just a bunch of old pe pilots. Like I don't know what this is. But hmm. I think I'm going to do her. But I can see myself easily messing this up. Easily. Maybe I should do her. <gasps> Wait, I have to do her now. This is who I'm doing. I'm doing this girl. Okay. Guys, when I tell you, I almost just had a fucking hard, like, I almost broke my fingers trying to open this oil up. I'm sweating. My glasses were fogging up, Um, but it's gone. It's open. It's open. So I'm using the... I got an oil paint kit from Michaels for like 30 bucks and it came with this. This is linseed oil medium from Artisloft. Artisloft is like the cheapest brand you can get, so I recommend it if you're a beginner. And then I also have um, paint thinner, but I have a window open because it is toxic, so FYI. And if you're wondering which paint thinner I use, I use the Speedball Odorless Paint Thinner, the one with the Mona Lisa on it. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not even going to use a pencil to sketch. I'm literally just going to do an underpainting with burnt sienna or like something of that range, like a brown. And then I'm going to top it up with the blue monochrome painting. Also, you're supposed to go in with gesso, which is like a primer. But for oil painting, you have to do like four coats of that. And I don't have time. So I'm not putting primer, but you do you, boo. I'm using Artist Loft Titanium White. <laughs>
Sun is practically gone and I finished my painting on day two and I'm pretty happy about it considering like my that's my cat that's my cat Linus <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it considering that I'm a beginner in oil paintings and I'll just show you what the final outcome looks like I'll also insert a picture because I think like I said the lights kind of nearing gone so this is the painting it looks pretty sick. I'm pretty proud of it. I like it. It does not match the reference like completely, but it's pretty good. I added towards the end, like I still have the brown underpainting, but I just added with the palette knife, red, green, and yellow. Yeah, red, green, and yellow, and kind of just smoothed it out. And it really gave this cool effect. So I'm pretty proud of it. I'm gonna let that dry for like a couple days and then I'll probably buy varnish to make it look smooth and silky. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and this was fun for me. I will see you in the next one.